one thing you don't see every day uh, between um, dead waters and bog side the lady farmers out training the wee dog it's up again to watch just check this out I have to say that was an unexpected treat uh, that was Annie the farmer's wife who was training Patch Patch is 11 months old and uh, he's just learning how to round up the sheep very very nice hey, well that wasn't too bad two miles light traffic uh, that's what I expect it on a Sunday morning I keep getting these place names wrong this is Bog Head not Bog Side so I'm turning a right now onto the Les Mahago Road and uh, the next stop is Les Mahago right, that's me just leaving Bog Head now next stop Les Mahago I'm looking across here, uh, in the distance I can see Black Hill Black Hill's away over there and beyond that is Lanark and just before that would be uh, Kipna Hill places like that so this is the road ahead of me, quite quiet I'll see you next stop, Let's me here go that's Kipmer Hill just over there beyond that old barn and the farm in the distance I think that's a drafting farm right that's the first four mile under my belt and uh, I'm just coming into Les Mahago quite a quiet walk much to to report so uh, four miles between dead water and let me here go uh, it's pro probably about another mile to the cross I'll head up to I'll head up towards Buckwood and I want to off look and I'll look that way so that's a third of the walk done feeling good Right, this is me in the heart of Les Mahago. Some beautiful buildings here, some Victorian buildings mixed in with the new buildings. I'm just passing the football parts on my left hand side and just over the fence, just over the fence there on the left hand side is the River Nethan. That is a great bit for fishing. Absolutely love that river with the trout in it. This is off season right enough. You wouldn't be allowed to fish it just now. But, um, yeah, beautiful. Lovely, lovely and quiet. Hardly a person about. Yeah, about five miles under my belt now. Almost halfway there. Loving it. I'm taking the right here. This is the road up to Buckwood and further on to Ochlochen uh, Garden Village. I won't be digging down into the village, I'll just be staying on this road. I'll take me back to Dead Waters. So a bit of a climb getting up here. I'll stop when I get to Buckwood and have a wee look round. Yeah, that's a castle just over there. Yeah, it's no longer a hospital, hasn't been a hospital for years. 
But yeah, remember there's a kid coming up here. Not sure what they're doing with the castle now. Whether it's a ruin or they're making it into flats or whatever. Right, I was a little bit thrown there. Uh, I wasn't sure which way to go, whether to take the, uh, the waterside road or continue on the Colburn Road. Uh, I've now worked it out. I'm going to stay in the Colburn Road and that'll um, get me back to dead water. So I'm halfway there, six miles in. Uh, it's not such a lovely day. It's overcast, but it's not raining. Past Les Mihago, that'll take me up to Ochlochen and all the way around back to Deadwaters. This looks like one of the main entrances into the Butwood estate from many years ago. Certainly at that period, Scottish flag and the Welsh flag flying on it. That's lovely, looks nice. It's ten toe away in the distance. Some cloud over it. No snow on it today because the temperatures have risen over the last few days. Quite mild. No rain today but overcast. This would all be part of the Burtwood Estate. <coughs> Sorry, Burtwood Estate. Now this has got to be the River Nathan. Oh, I'll be coming up here in the summer, doing a bit of fishing. This looks great. Right, I might have taken the wrong road here. <laughs> I'm now outside Ochlochan village. I'm supposed to be on the other side of it. Ochlochan Garden Village. This might be more than 12 miles. Let's wait and see. No, everything's fine. Uh, the reason I thought I was supposed to be on the other side of the village was because originally I was uh, intending to walk the other way, go anti-clockwise. Uh, this will take me uh, back to where I want to go, up to Deadwaters. I think I've got about another five mile to go. Uh, I'm just going to take a right here. Uh, that's where I would have come out had I come the other way. I don't think geography is my strongest point. Tell you what, if you've got the money, you've knocked it off here. Imagine living here in Ockelochen. Then just imagine you're a golfer. Because right across the road is a Holland Bush golf course. I think you might need some money to live out this way. Beautiful as it is. You know, this is unusual. Never seen that before in the woods. Pigs. Boars. The things you see when you're out of walk. I wonder what the noise was. Hmm. Pigs. Let's see if we got a better look at them. Two thirds of the way in, just past the eight mile mark. Four miles to go. Oh, these bike roads are great. You could end up anywhere. So, just follow this, this road all the way around. And uh, I see another four miles. It should take me to get back to Deadwaters. And then home for dinner. Lovely. 
Use that for a backdrop. The river, nothing. I get caught in the rain. Shower of rain a few minutes ago. This is the first time I've been up this far looking at anything. Uh, get back to what I was saying about the fishing. I'll be uh, fishing this water in the summer. Right, in the last four miles. Uh, never been on this road before. Lots of left turns and right turns, so I just need to keep an eye on my tracker to make sure that I'm heading back in the right, right direction. I'm actually following the, the sun, believe it or not. I'm, if I'm walking with the sun on my left and then turn and the sun's at my back, uh, it should take me back to, to where I want to go. An old Indian taught me that one. <laughs> Sounds good. Right, telling a real lie, I have been here before. Alright, it was probably more than 20 years ago. I fished this wee spot. I think this is where the Logan water runs into the and Nathan, just this bit here. Yep, many moons ago. We get dropped off and picked back up. And fish this bit. Oh dear. Can they beat nostalgia? A cormorant down there. I'm just, just diving for fish. Not sure if I'll be able to pick up this cormorant. Let's see where he comes back up. Oh, there it's up there. Back down again. One thing for certain, when they get in the water, there's very few fish left. Cormorants are very, very greedy. Where is he? There he is. Not shy of me anyway. There he goes again. There's actually three rivers in one here. River coming in from there, oh there's that comment there. River coming in from there and then into the nothing. And the sun has come out just at the right time. There he is. Some lovely people all along the roads in my walk today. All very, very helpful. Uh, can't believe I'm walking 12 miles. They're saying just a wee stretch of the legs. First 10 miles. Uh, it was good. I'm starting to feel it now. in the village of Dead Waters. That was punishing. Rewarding but punishing. There we go. Check that out. That's 13 and a half mile. How long with that? Right, 13 and a half mile, that's a record for me. I've walked almost 40 
three miles before. I think I was taking a little detour further down there, but um, I know the last two or three miles were all an autopilot. Thoroughly loved it. Now home for a cup of tea and a warm shower. Ah.